Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We're back here in Elm Creek with Grover Games. Um, so we skipped jump ahead from last time in the episode a little bit to get the rain out of the way. And I was kind of checking the contracts here before we got the episode started and there's not much new out there. Um, the only thing I think I'm going to do is I think we're going to end up picking up... We're going to borrow the items for Field 70. And we're also do field 69 for tillage contract today. And I think we're going to jump into that right away. We're going to get that started. My goal, so my goal is for, to at least get the field 70 started. Then we'll have the kid Tuttle take over for a bit. And then we're going to head back to our place. And we're going to do some weed control today. We're going to get... Get our sorghum fields all sprayed. Whoop. Always forget that. It's a little... The way I got my sensitivities and such set up and controls for everything, it's a little wonky always driving a articulating tractor like this. So it's just a little... Just got to get used to it a little bit. I really... The thing I need to... I need to do, and I think I'm gonna finally jump to it tomorrow. Is mess with the, mess with the steer the side panel tomorrow, so that way I can start using my steering wheel. The only issue I have right now, what's kind of keeping me away, is that the way I have my mic set up, is it makes it a little hard to reach my face with everything. So I haven't really figured out a good workaround yet. I think that's kind of why I've been procrastinating a little bit on that. But for now, we're going to go at least get to field 70. Do I think we're going to do at least the first the first two outside passes of the field. And get that done, and then we'll jump over to field 69. And that'll be a pretty easy field to knock out pretty fast, since that's a quite a bit smaller field. And with something like of this size, it shouldn't take us long to knock that out. But yeah, our... Crops are looking pretty good. Even the neighbors over here that we fertilize, sprayed for and fertilized the other day is looking pretty dang good, too. Hopefully they'll be looking for some, some help for harvesting. That would be a good, good, easy one for us to pick up, especially in our own backyard. But we're sitting... I think we're sitting pretty good for money right now. I checked on the sheep and chickens before the start of the episode. We're, they were doing pretty good on... Pretty good on food yet. The sheep almost have 500 liters of wool produced and I I never dealt with sheep before on this game so I don't know if it takes a little bit for them to get get to producing wool but we should we will find that out soon enough especially with with it but I'm just glad we my big thing is I'm just glad we got enough oh, got to get over a little bit there we go that we're gonna have more than enough grass bales to keep the sheep fed because that was my biggest concern especially when we have such a big big chicken operation so far i feel like it it might be a little too big for our setup if we still want to keep selling row crop the doing row crop and not have selling some of the what we produce from that versus having to feed it all back into the chickens but i don't know i feel like i feel like the chickens are not a bad Bad a way to go for production wise, like when we're feeding us some of our stuff into there. But I think we'll jump into the time lapse here. Like I said, I think I'll get the first two outside passes, then we're gonna let Tuttle take over and we'll go back and take care of our weeds with with our new forty eight forty and keep putting that through the ringer. So we'll see you guys at the end of it all.
All right, everyone, we're in the month of June. Um, two field calling contracts went by well. Just took, once again, always takes a little bit longer than I expected. And we're sitting pretty good so far, and it looks like our barley's ready to harvest. I didn't think it would be already. I guess we got it plant. I did. I guess we did get it planted earlier than last time, and we got a few options for some spraying contracts out there. Field fifty-eight. Where is that at? Oh, that's a bigger field down south. Um, we might pick that one up at least. I just wonder if we have enough chemical right now where is that there it is oh. there it is field 58 i didn't know if we would have enough herbicide to knock that field out I need about a thousand liters to be safe Ooh, just a little short it looks like but i think I think we're going to start with the barley harvest and go from there. Looks like we can harvest some more grass again. Should check on the chickens quick while I'm thinking about it. We're almost at 5,000 liters feed left for them. And we still got about 4,000 liters of barley, so. It's, I think it's, we're always going to be pushing tight for it. The sheep's got enough. Enough food yet, and they're kind of going wild there. Making noises, but I know one of the first things we're going to want to do with this machine here is. Uh, we're getting low on fuel. We're not quite low enough on fuel yet. But we're going to. Uh, let's turn this the other way around. Jeez, that. That paint job is not holding up well. Holy cow. It has not held up held up well at all on this combine, but we're just gonna pull it in here quick. Because I know we gotta do some maintenance, replace some sections and guards on the combine, do the filters and such, so. Didn't cost us too much. I figured it cost us quite a bit more, but it is an older machine. Back up out of here. And we'll have to... We're going to be putting on the straw swath here. Because we got a chance to make a little bit extra money off the straw. And we might as well take advantage of it. Um, I think for now we'll hold off on picking up those few contracts. We'll just... We'll decide a after we get this all said and done here. And let's get this going here. There we are. Get our winter barley harvested going at least, because we're probably going to be ending this ed episode shortly. Kind of exciting that we got that. I think that 560M baler is going to end up paying itself off here. Oh, probably in a few years, not right away, but just thinking if we keep we start are able to use all our straw swath and pick it up and such and get the most out of it anymore we're gonna be sitting pretty good I think this ever since the first episode I don't think we've ever once been straw swath in anything so this this is still what prog this is what progress looks like I'm still kind of I'm really baffled at how much paint has peeled off this combine part of me wants to repaint it but we I mean, sit there and think about it, we only got a little over three hours on it and it peeled so bad already. Honestly, the header should be looking a lot worse than what the combine is for paint peeling, at least in my opinion. But the header looks like it's pretty much brand new yet. Now it looks like the barley's yielding. Look, it looks like it's yielding pretty dang good, I mean. The first swath kind of sucked because I don't know what happened. I know we sprayed this whole field down, but we still had some weeds come through. Probably some herbicide-resistant herbicide weeds. 
which is a which is a real thing out there, but I don't think they I'm almost certain that giants didn't implement implement that in the game yet, especially since we don't have any pests pests for you taking yield loss yet in the game. You know, like having all aphids, uh, grasshoppers, you know, the co common ones like that, corn rootworm, rootworms for losing yields like that. Kind of a little bit of rough over here, but I suppose this is kind of the area I added and expanded on as well. If we get we get like 1,600 liter, 16,000 liters out of this. I think we'll be sitting pretty good for not having to really worry about getting any extra feed for our chickens. Oh, jeez. I have a tight corner here, especially almost when we're starting to back into the creek a little. No, we're... We almost got to pass around the field, and we're going to be a little over half full. We'll have to bring the wagons out back here quick and get dumped as well. I'm also kind of glad that mod's back too, just the fill level indicator. I always enjoyed, that was always a nice mod to have back in 19. I'm glad to see it's back already again in 22. We'll just keep going around, I think. I kind of want to make three passes around the field. I think will be a good, good amount. And you know what? Maybe we'll let Tuttle take over for a bit and then we can start bailing. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I think we'll just bring the wagons out with the 4840 and then we can hook up the round baler next episode and we can have possibly have Tuttle start taking over and then we can maybe keep expanding our on our custom work business. Pick up a few more contracts and knock out a few fertilizing ones and along with spraying contracts because those those are always seem to be the big money makers and we're we're already sitting pretty good on money too, when you think about it. We're just shy of forty-three thousand. I think, and part of me wants, kind of wants to invest into a little shed, just because we're starting to amass a good amount of equipment anymore. That it's starting to get a little bit tricky to figure out where to store everything. Try and keep it all under a roof so it kind of the condition kind of holds up better. Don't have paint fading and such. Ever notice that little brake light down there by the little header hitch before? Uh, I did not think this through. I wonder if we'll be able to make it all the way to the other end of the field. I hope we can. I would rather not have to bring the wagons and tractor out here to cause compaction issues in the field. Less traffic on the ground, the better it'll be in the long run for production. Uh, it's gonna be close. I think this is like the first time also that I kind of just went with swathing it. It's just the animation on the swath coming out of the combine looks so good. I know, I know there's a lot of people who kind of have opinionate on 22 saying it's not the greatest thing ever, such, but you know, you gotta give Giants credit. They did improve quite a bit with a lot of their gra well, a lot of their crop textures and just, just the animations in general. Like even the header, we're gonna get full here, there we go. Back up a little, spread that swath out a little more while it finishes. But you gotta give the people at Giants credit. They did put in work, especially with the paint peeling and such too. Uh, even though I'm a little opinionated and say this is this is a little bit too much paint peeling. Uh we'll, we'll yeah, we'll use the forty 
48 here. It needs... We need to get the hours racked up more on it. It could... It could... Looks like it could use a little bit of paint too, but... You know what? I'm feeling pretty good. I was... Like I said, I was very concerned at first with whether or not we're going to have enough feed for the chickens, but I think we're going to be sitting pretty good after this harvest. Swing on out over here. We'll turn on. Look at the tractor facing the other way before we get too full, so that way we don't have all that weight going across the field here. I have a tight squeeze in there. We are. Now this isn't that just a cool sight to see. Well, we're, you know what? we're just gonna. Usually I try to do this off screen, but I'm just gonna take a quick screenshot there for the thumbnail. But I think this is where we're gonna be wrapping it up today for this episode, folks. Kind of a. Somewhat stale episode with the tillage we did, but you know what? We need... I'm kind of more... I've been re-motivated since we picked up all these purchases, like the 4840, the front mount mower, and the 560M baler. I've been fe I'm feeling pretty good so far. Before, I I felt myself kind of getting a little unmotivated because it just seemed like it takes forever for us to even get anything. It just felt like it was taking forever for us to get anything anything going for us but then that baler came on sale and i think i think that was an excellent purchase for us especially since now we're going to be able to make make the most of it with being able to sell some straw now make a little extra money not a lot but a good amount here get the fill beacons turned off here and then with the purchase of the 4840 having a second tractor on the farm we can pick up a few more contracts and when we pick up our next field or two, we'll be able to start hammering away a little faster at getting getting our own getting our own work done around here. But like I said, I think this is where we're gonna end it for the episode. Um, if you enjoyed the video today, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe. I'm gonna be I'm I'm hoping by this time this episode comes out, I'll have the first episode of No Man's Land out. If you haven't checked that one out yet. I strongly suggest you do it. Uh, it's going to be kind of a somewhat survival role play. Maybe, like, some people might think I maybe gave myself a little too much with the starting equipment I bought, but that's just how I wanted to start out the series. But otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching.